Hello and welcome to Daily Astrology with me, Chloe Rose. We are going to go over Mars Day. So Mars will be at 26 degrees Aries. Mars is in its native ruler of Aries. Aries is the sign of the ram. It is giving us motivation and spark to take new decisions that allow for us to open up and receive what our feelings have to say that make us unique, that I feel kind of like they forward move our identity and what, what it is that we're going on for in the world with what's going on in our lives. Um, we're kind of like updating our frequency and this is allowing for us to be authentic and be more present with, with ourselves, which is really powerful and attractive energy. Um, for those of you guys looking to change jobs, find a partner, relocate, just know the more authentic and present you are in the moment, the more likely that the synchronicities are going to start to guide you. Like you're going to start to get bigger synchronicities, which is just like these serendipitous moments of like things aligning to where you need help, help just shows up. And it's like immediate law of attraction, immediate manifestation. So Aries at 26 degrees, which is where Mars will be today. The man in the moon smiling, living on the edge, poised at many brinks, swept up in a tide of changes, chaotic and magnificent. Everywhere at once, you are creative and generative, overwhelmed and overstimulated, but primarily exulting in yourself and your emerging cap capabilities. Falling in love with the dance of destiny you find yourself in, ecstatic release in being able to catch the spark as it flies. Very fast, very strong, very remarkable and knowing it. And what a day to know it. The sun and Venus are netting to a five. And this is giving us the capacity to know that our thoughts are leading us in a place that is filled with synchronicities, is filled with immediate law of attraction. And I have the feeling that it's going to be like, you know, like sparks flying, but it's like someone's finishing your sentences or you're finishing someone's thoughts with what you're having to say. And it feels like this very amazing frequency because Uranus is at 24 degrees Taurus and the moon will cross over Uranus between the day and overnight it's going to move to cross over Uranus. So you might even have encounters today that you get more clues about in your dream life. So if you don't keep a dream journal, start one because I'm going to interview one of my friends who is a dream expert and she works in the field of dreams, which is our subconscious. And I've been finding my dreams are more and more unique and telling lately. Um, I do have a transit with Black Moon Lilith in my subconscious, so it's bringing my fears to the surface. For anyone who's dealt with Black Moon Lilith or has a specific aspect in your chart, just know that she is there to remind us that we have nothing to fear. Fear is false evidence appearing real, and the only thing that can happen with fear is we talk ourselves into it manifesting. So with me, I want you guys to affirm, I take the first step to move away from fear and towards what I love. And I saw that there is a call for astrology books. So this is Inside Degrees by Elias Lonsdale, one of my favorites to do daily astrology with. Um, it does take a bit of figuring out how to read charts to know exactly what to look for. But this and then Love Signs by Linda Goodman. I bought that book in college and it was one of the best investments I've made. It was like all of $4 and I had the best time. I think I found it like secondhand, but it's online in PDF format. And then also there is my book of fortune, a 28 day lunar planner. I printed this with Canva. So it's one of those where you could print it yourself or you can be in contact with me and we can organize the printing of the physical version until I get it published. So it's, it's in the earlier stages, but I wrote this about a year ago and then it just sat actually two years ago. I wrote it two years ago and then I just let it sit for a year and I picked it back up as I'm in a mentorship program with Sensei Christopher Witecki and it's something that I was able to say, okay, let me just get my hands on it and I feel like it's amazing. Like from starting that book to now, I actually started sharing on YouTube. After I finished the 28 days, I was like, I'm ready to take this back online. I am an astrologer. And lo and behold, this is actually a series that I started. If you've been following me for a while or followed me from my Chloe Astrology page, it's something that I feel is now like you guys might, this is why I'm sharing this. You guys might be at a point too where you've had something that you've picked up and put down, but now you know it's go time. And I would like to also state, like there's someone who reached out about um, 
having a going to get a kundalini teacher or something or a yoga teacher uh, to work with chakras and i feel like there's so much online and anytime i go into a situation where i'm paying for something i want to be sure that i'm informed i know the basics i know the fundamentals so i don't get finessed and people don't end up like chaining me into something that is free and they have other motives than i do so i also want to speak to that because um, mars has passed over chiron but Neptune is in Pisces, Saturn is in Pisces, and that 29 degree of Neptune is um, Bailanese cost dancers wearing golden costumes, and it just speaks to the eloquence and exaggeration almost that we can have when we encounter the truth. So then the truth is something that we can pass by because it's too clear, it's too easy, it's too perfect, and it's something that we can start to deceive ourselves if we aren't ready for the real truth, if we want something that someone can sell to us because we aren't willing to sit, be grounded, come together, and know what it is that we're going for. So if you guys have any issues around clarity, um, Mercury just entered Gemini. So there's going to be a lot that is coming up around our feelings about how we think about ourselves. So if you're not in integrity with that, like if you don't have high vibration thoughts around yourself, loving thoughts, life affirming thoughts. If you make some work and then you say, if it, it only got two likes, no one, it's worth nothing, it's trash, none of my messages matter. This is something to massage. I've started doing this, physically patting myself on the back and then I also find uh, Qigong exercises on YouTube to work through the Chinese medicine of my meridians. I have found this to be the most potent medicine for me and it's something that is a reward. It's something that I reward myself with. and. Because I just recorded this and decided to re-record, I pulled the right choice, which felt really cool to pull. But what I didn't do is read this. So let's see. 29 is also speaking to integrity in our emotions and actions and having a balance around what we perceive we can do at this time. Being a beginner, being intermediate, being advanced, and then knowing that you could still siphon it and apply it to teach someone who's a beginner. You could still siphon what you know at this moment and start a whole new journey, carve out a path that is fearless and authentic to you. All right, I feel so motivated. The right choice. Stay close to those who know about the heart. Choose the shade of a tree that is in constant bloom. Don't meander aimlessly among the herb sellers and potion vendors. Go directly to the shop that sells nothing but sweets. Don't sit waiting by every boiling pot to have your plate filled. Not every boiling pot is cooking what you want. Not every sugar cane is filled with sugar. Not every down has an up. Not every eye has vision. Not every sea contains pearls. So I've, I've bought some expensive high ticket coaching with people who I've had to like drop out of because they were not in constant bloom. They were in hibernation. Natural, but not what I'm looking for. Where in your life are you tolerating people who are, they, they talk the talk, but they're not walking it. And you feel something off, but you don't know exactly what it is. Walk away. These people are not really doing the work. They are not really showing up for themselves or they're at a point in their life where they have to make a flip. They have to decide to turn the page because what they're doing is pulling out of their A and selling it. I've seen many of these people and I know it because I've decided to not do that throughout my journey. I've decided to hold back on sharing what it is that I know whenever I wasn't in integrity. That would be the reason why I archived these videos. That would be the reason why I've not done it yet. It took me writing a book, literally writing a book, to be like, okay, I'm ready now. Because for me, that's the level of integrity as someone who was teaching in a school on Maui, that's the level of integrity that my teaching holds. So if you guys are looking for someone to finesse you out of a couple thousand dollars, yeah, sure. There are plenty of people who are um, selling herbs and potions. But if you go to the source, if you learn how to, and this might be something specific because yes, sometimes we want it easy. We want someone who can give us a lunch and we know that it's well-made. And those people we know who to go to because they, they're radiant, they look healthy, they're well. They're, they might be dealing with their emotions because we're creative people, but it's something that you know the quality when you encounter it. And then for those of you guys who are still kind of wandering along the path, just 
find people who inspire you and then do your homework to see what it is that they've done to get, get started. Okay, I just want to look at the sun and Venus at 14 degrees. Oh my gosh, my, my technology is so funny right now. It's hilarious. Um, a sorcerer materializes an amethyst cross. Laws are made to be broken. Limitations are kept in place so that those who are not ready to go through radical changes in evolution will be able to locate themselves. But then there are those who cut through every limitation, break every, this is what I'm talking about. Break every law, break every limitation. Don't buy it from people. Do not buy anything from people that they have not given you a sample of for free that you know is amazing for you. That's why I offer my book as a read version so you could see if you need to print it by purchasing it. Do that for me, okay? Because this is my intellectual property. Um, when they cut loose, worlds that have been kept apart flood together. This is a force of awareness that seeks to bridge, to mediate, to connect, to bear messages back and forth. And if you guys didn't know, Toth or Mercury um, was rec represented by a squirrel in the ancient Greek mythology, and he went from the heavens to the underworld to like kind of spill the tea in between realms, and he wanted to spark drama. Mercury's transit around the sun is 88 days. So that eight, eight nets to a nine, which is about taking action. And with Mercury at two degrees Gemini, our feelings are going to show us where to take action to start communicating, to start creating, um, I almost want to say like crevices for water to come through for the emotions that we want to nurture into the future, into cancer season. They're going to start to pick up today. So you're going to have feelings and have the ability to act on those feelings with Mars moving pretty rapidly through its, its natal sign Aries and come Mercury Day, I'm so excited. Just so you get a brief um, in reflection, it's, it's going to be a, a grandmaster day to take action. So on this Mars Day, we're, we need to strategize, but we're going to have to find the people. We're going to have to go out into the world and make connections. So even if that's five minutes um, of making a video, of making content and tagging your location, and then that's just sending out a wave of your antenna of what you're seeking in the world. It's seeking you're going to be seeking more quality connections that allow for you to open your mind to your interests and not be, you know, hook, line, sinker by someone who just wants something from you. I'm not into transactional encounters, so that's, that's my take on things. A mission or great task is involved to let the future flood through and repolarize the fractured world towards wholeness. A sensibility made up of equal parts daring and skill. The daring is afraid of nothing and nobody. So Aries, <laughs> the skill embodies the daring in action. That's very Libra, very balanced. A perfect combination to catalyze and spark and make inevitable cosmic forces bringing their imprint to bear upon the outer physical existence, just as though that is what we do around here. And why not? And also the reason why I said Libra and Aries is because that's where the North and South Node is. So right now we are unlearning things to bring into focus what it is that we want to know. So if there are people like teachers insisting that you take these courses first, go around them. Like it's time to just skip the line. It's time to literally take what you know and start to apply it to things that are bigger than you. I've done that for years. Like I've taken so many classes on edx.org about cellular structure, around medicine, around like literally I took high school French class, but it's, it's something that's in my, my back pocket. It's something that I title my works in French. I'm a painter and it's like, I know enough to get by. Like I've been able to go to Paris and like not use Google maps to walk around the city, which is pretty iconic. Just seeing like how, you know, webbed and structured that place is. So what is it that you want to know right now? How can you start to take steps in that direction by finding good teachers because that is a part of the mission is finding good teachers finding reliable resources leave me a comment on, on anything that you need help with i've researched most most things i've spent a lot of my time in a state of constant meditation on finding good teachers because i didn't want to have to pay for these courses from people who spoke about certifications and you know um, stuff that you could print off in the computer because that that doesn't mean anything to me i'm someone who likes to do things on, with my two hands, with prayer, and I hope that this reaches you right on time before you're about to press that purchase button for $4,000 of a like pre-recorded online course 
And if you are looking for that, I have that option for a live um, six month coaching service. So just trust that you will find the resources as you're open to a high level of connection of something that calls you out of your normal day-to-day -day life. And right now we're being asked to take dialed in action to things that we've been told, no, no, this isn't for you. You have to, you have to start back there, like way over there. Like you can't even talk to me right now. Skip those people, save yourself lots of time, lots of hours of frustration. You deserve happiness. Check out my June readings by a seat to my Saturn webinar and I will see you guys soon. Aloha.